Now let me show you how this thing works. It's a very simple device to use. You just double your lead rope, pass it through the large ring, flip the tongue up through the loop, and pull it down and lock it in place. Now that's enough to hold most horses that are broke to tie, wouldn't you think? Now a lot of people get a hold of this thing and they'll break it loose and they'll say, oh, that's not enough to hold my horse. Well, if you don't think it is, we can regulate the hold on this thing anywhere from a few pounds of pressure, which is what we have here, to a few hundred pounds of pressure. And let me show you how we do that. If you thought that wasn't enough to hold your horse, if you want to add some more hold to it, you could just pick up the tail of the lead rope and make a circle like that. Now we've added three or four times of what it takes to pull that through there. Now if you thought that wasn't enough to hold your horse, you can add even more hold by simply picking up the tail of the lead rope and throwing it over the lead shank like so. That puts a lot more hold on the horse. Any more than that, you might as well just tie him solid. You're just going to start breaking stuff anyway. Let me show you how we mount this tie ring. We place the eye bolt horizontal at five feet or above. You just take your tie ring with the tongue bent towards the post and put your thumb bolt through like so. It's that simple. You can regulate the hold on this tie ring from as little as a few pounds of pressure to a few hundred pounds of pressure using one of three tying options. And let me show you how we do that. You just double your lead rope, pass it through the ring, flip the tongue up through the loop, and pull it down and lock it in place. If you want to add more hold, you could go to the second step. You just pick up the tail of the lead rope, push the tongue back like so, and make a circle up around the tongue like that. Now if you wanted even more hold to do the third option, you just simply pick up the tail of the lead rope and throw it over the lead shank, like so. That adds even more hold. You just double your lead rope, pass it through the ring, flip the tongue up through the loop, and pull it down and lock it in place. You just pick up the tail of the lead rope, push the tongue back like so, make a circle up around the tongue, like that. To do the third option, you just simply pick up the tail of the lead rope and throw it over the lead shank, like so. That adds even more hold. When we get ready to take the horse off of this, to get that second loop off of there, just pick up the tail of your lead rope and pull steady pressure. That knocks that second loop off of there and take a hold of the tie ring, slide your hand back and push out the first one. Just pick up the tail of your lead rope and pull steady pressure. That knocks that second loop off of there. And take a hold of the tie ring, slide your hand back, and push out the first one. I have tried 